In this video, I want to start talking about functional groups in organic chemistry. So I basically just introduced and defined what are functional groups. In other videos, I will talk about different classes of functional groups. So the structure of features that make it possible to classify compounds into families are called functional groups. So basically in organic chemistry or organic compounds, we classify them based on their functional groups and we name it based on the kind of functional groups we have on that particular molecule. Families of organic molecules are classified according to their reactive parts called functional groups. A functional group is a group of atoms within a molecule that has a characteristic chemical behavior. Chemically, a given functional group behaves in nearly the same way in every molecule it's part of it. Carbon combines with other molecules such as hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and halogens such as chlorine, bromine, iodine, and fluorine to form structural units called functional groups. So the base on what kind of other molecules we have, uh, based on the bonding between them, we can classify them in different organic compounds and different functional groups. So functional groups, as a summary, are important for three reasons. One, they are units by which we divide organic compounds into classes such as alkane, alkyne, uh, uh, alcohols, ethers, carboxylic acids, stuff like that. There are sites of characteristic chemical reactions and also functional groups serve as a basis for naming organic compounds. So that, as I said earlier, so based on what kind of functional groups we have in the structure of uh, organic compounds, we can name it based on that. Okay? So that's basically about what is functional group and why knowing functional groups are important. In other videos, I will talk about them in detail.